James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with the little software install, as you guys can see for a keyboard, this is the Red Dragon Draconic. That's right, Draconic Keyboard. This is the 10 keyless RGB keyboard. It does have three Bluetooth settings, so you can pair with three different devices. As you guys can see, this is a rather small keyboard. We're going to mess with this. Over here is the power on and off and the three switches for the Bluetooth and the charger. But first, we're going to have to run in some from installs. You're going to want to go to reddragon.com. So red, www.reddragonzone.com slash pages slash download. In here, you're going to see all the downloads and softwares that you're going to need. We're going to go down here to the Draconic right here, and we're going to grab this. We are going to save this software. Now, as you can see, it is saved. We are going to open it. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Oh, my gosh. Back open. We are going to click run. All right, more info. We're going to run it anyways because my PC has retardism. Rather slow. Okay, so as you can see, we're going to install this rather quick. This is for the K530 RGB, which is the Draconic keyboard. Click next. Uh, we're just going to install it real quick. Install wizard should be pretty quick. I don't see us having an issue with that. Like I said, pretty quick. You know, we can pull it open. Do you want to allow this? We're going to allow it. Now, one thing I wish that is not. Why is it not running? Maybe we have to over here. Device is not detected. Okay, so that's what our issue is. So now we're going to grab this. We're going to flip this switch right here to power on. And then we're going to leave it on Bluetooth 1, which is actually red flashing. If you guys see it, I can change it to Bluetooth 2. It'll change to green, and Bluetooth 3 is blue. But we're going to leave it on 1 because I'm going to pair this with my computer. And then I'm going to pair it with, the you know, probably my phone and some other things to test it out. So let's pull this up. Let's add a device. You click Add Device. Draconic 1 is what we're going to click. We are connecting the device. Here we go. We are now connected, it looks like. We are connected, so we are done. Now we're going to pull up the software again. Okay, we're going to click this again. The software, we close that out over there. Let's see. Hopefully this works. Okay, there we go. Now we're working. As you can see, we can click this to do lighting effects if that's what we want to do, profile lighting effects. You guys will see what the lighting effects look like right here. Oops, my bad. Um, swift action. Let's do trail of light. As you can see, it's cycling colors. Don't know if you guys can see this because it's, you know, I do have lighting up. Let's hit another one. Breathing effect. But, you know, pretty much what you're seeing on the screen in the middle is the same thing you're seeing on the keyboard, just not as bright. And that's because I have a lot of lighting going on. We can actually change that to normal on, right? Just leave it one color, normal on. Let's go. Go with the go with the stream. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, clouds fly. You know, we can change colors. We can do colorful or non-colorful. One color. I kind of like one color. Um, winds path. You know, flowers blooming. Just a whole bunch of like twinkling stars to me. Snowstorm. At, snow winter jasmine. That's kind of cool. Um, swift action, you know, just pretty much just a flashing rotate. Both ways. Back and forth, probably. You know, surmount. I uh, can do just a single color if you want. You know, fast and furious. Coastal. I would love an option to make my own, you know, like my own little color pattern. Just plain, without touching any of these. Let's hit profile two. Let's hit this. So we do have macros. If you want to start making macros, I don't do macros. 
that's something you'll probably have to learn on your own. I mean, if you re guys really need to see it, I can make a video of that. Just let me know. I personally am not going to do it. Magic function. We have magic function. Not really sure about the magic function. I know it does a couple things when you're in Bluetooth. So if you hold it down, the magic function will help you record a macro with that with the onboard macro. So that's a little bit different. We're going to restore default right now. We're going to click this. Back to restore default. We're going to go profile three, lighting. We're going to do normal on. We're going to change colorful, and there is a single color. I like single coloring because that's what all my stuff is right now. It's a red and black theme. But you don't have to have that. You know, it's pretty cool that you can do this. Let's do, take that off. You know, we can um, actually change color. Let's do this. We click OK. Oh, oops. I accidentally closed it. My bad, guys. <laughs> so really, I mean, the, the, the stuff, it's not, it's not like a, you're going to really, really support. I click apply and it's not really doing anything. We can change this back. Apply isn't doing nothing. So we go to profile one, nothing, profile three. And since we don't have the lighting checked, we have to check it again to reset it. But that is the Tr Draconic software. This is the Bluetooth for the uh, V5.0 RGB mechanical keyboard. Um, Pretty cool software. You can hit question if you want to restore backups. So you can restore and backup. You know, we're gonna actually we're gonna go with that. I like that. We can actually change directions too. Didn't know we could do that. See, so I go back. It's there, but. I'm not really sure why it's not really saving. but So that is the Traconic software from the Red Dragon website. I will keep the link down below for the keyboard if you guys want to pick one of those up. I will also have the link down so you guys can do the download for the software and install. But thank you for checking out this little video. and Keep your eyes out for more on DragonBlogger.com where I'll have the written review for this, the written review for the Brother headset, the um, Helios headset. That is a pretty cool headset so far. Um, and a couple other things. So keep you guys off of that. And thank you guys for checking out this video. Have a great one.